Let us now look at the essential elements or the constituents of torts. First of all, there should be a duty. The duty may be to act or to behave in a particular manner. That is a positive duty or it may be to not act or not to behave in a particular manner. That is a negative duty. For example, a driver has the duty to follow all traffic laws, which is a positive duty. And he also has a duty not to drive in a negligent manner, which is a negative duty. This duty is the legal obligation to avoid causing harm to others. And also remember that this duty exists because of someone's rights. That is, it is the right of every road user to be able to use the public road safely. So, it is the duty of every driver or rider to drive carefully. Next, there should be a breach of that duty. In our example, the driver exceeds the speed limit on a road and jumps a red light. This action violates the duty of not driving negligently. Following the breach, there must be causation. Causation means that there must be a cause and effect relationship between the breach of duty and a damage or an injury suffered by the plaintiff. In our example, the driver's excess speed and the jumping of the red light caused the driver to crash into the plaintiff's car. The causation can be in fact, which is actual, or it can be proximate, where the cause and effect relationship may not be easily visible, but it is recognized as such by the law. And lastly, there must be an injury. In our example, the accident may lead to some physical injuries, some property damage, financial loss or emotional distress. This element of injury confirms that some harm resulted from the breach of duty. A point to remember here is that the injury must be a legal injury and may or may not also be an actual injury. A legal injury means that a right of the plaintiff has been violated. We will discuss about this concept of a legal injury in a different slide. When all of these elements are present, a duty to care, breach of that duty, causation and an injury, all the essential elements required for a tort are present.